Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, and today I'm going to build a custom pickguard for my Stratocaster. The only materials you need for this build are an eighth inch piece of plywood big enough to cover the area on your guitar, and any stains and finishes you want to use. A quick disclaimer before I actually start building this pickguard, I do end up making a lot of mistakes and the pickguard doesn't come out as well as I'd hoped it to. So if you want to actually learn how to build one for yourself, I would recommend checking out the Guns and Guitars videos linked in the description and it shows you how to actually build it. But if you want to see mine, then stick around. Without any further talk, let's get into the build process. To start off, grab two pieces of cardstock and tape them together. You can use normal paper if you don't have cardstock, but I highly recommend it because it's less flexible and easier to work with. After that, set your guitar ready down and trace around where you want your pickguard to be. Next, cut off along where you traced and then set it on top of your guitar body. Your neck and bridge cutouts are probably the two most important parts of making your pickguard. So when doing these parts, you want to be extra careful and making sure everything lines up perfectly. For the neck cutout, line up the cardstock on top of the body and then indent inside the neck pocket so that you know where to do your original cut. The first cut will end up fairly rough, but keep measuring and cutting until it lines up perfectly with the neck pocket. Repeat the same process for the bridge cutout and make sure that it stays lined up with the guitar body along with the neck pocket. Once you have both your neck pocket and your bridge pocket cut out, you're ready to start designing the actual shape of your pickguard. For mine, I sort of copied the same design as the strap pickguard, but I added a little swoop at the top. Also, because of the way my neck attaches to my body, the fretboard hangs over a lot onto the pickguard, so I have to cut that out or else my neck won't be able to seat properly once my pickguard is installed. Once your pickguard design is finished, you can trace it on to your 8th inch piece of wood. You see here that I already traced the pickup slots onto my piece of wood. You don't have to do this yet. I tried tracing them through the cardstock and it didn't turn out well. I'm going to show you how to actually do that later in the video. I used a coping saw to cut my pickguard out of the wood. You can also use a jigsaw if you feel comfortable with that, but I didn't want to break my pickguard. Once everything was cut out, I cleaned up the pickguard using a belt sander and a file. To get the pickup holes in the correct spot, I used the old pickguard that came with the kit and put that over the one I already had, lining it up with the neck pocket and the bridge. After that, I traced out the pickup holes as well as all the other screw holes so that they could go into the same spot, but I later changed most of the ones that drilled the pickguard into the body. I then cut the pickup holes out of the pickguard using the same coping saw and then cleaned it up with a Dremel. After that, I drilled all the holes for the electronics and screws to go in so that when I was doing the finish on it, I wouldn't have to drill through it later and maybe mess it up. Then I finished sanded the pickguard up to 400 grit and put black writ dye on it and wiping some away to give it a dark brown color. After I finished it with tongue oil, it was ready for electronics. I shielded the back of the pickguard using copper tape and installed a fairly unique passive wiring diagram. It uses a high pass and low pass tone knobs along with a push pull volume knob to add in the neck pickup for two extra different pickup selections. The tone knobs however do not work that well but at least pickup selection does. After giving up on the wiring for the time being, I decided to assemble the guitar and to see how it actually looked fully built. I really liked the way this pickguard turned out, even though it wasn't perfect. The pickup spacing, even though I tried really hard to get it perfect, ended up being way off on the middle and neck pickups, and also I'm kind of sad that I didn't get the wiring sorted out. Again, if you actually want to learn how to build a really nice pickguard, definitely check out the Guns and Guitars videos, link in the description. That's all I have today. Thank you everybody for watching, and please like and subscribe, I really would appreciate that. And also, I did add locking strap locks, because the ones that came with the kit, the screws broke, and they were jank. Catch you in the next video, stay gruntled.